The hunt is what Roblox is calling their revised egg hunt, taking out any Easter factor from the event. Many players are wondering why this is. They could have just brought back the old egg hunt. It was flawless. There's no need for change. So why are we in a metaverse style scavenger hunt rather than the iconic egg hunt Roblox has done for years? And does this mean that we've lost our beloved egg hunt for some cold and capitalistic driven event? We might have. And it has to do with COVID, meta, the stock market, and honestly, the future of gaming. Now you're gonna have to let me explain but first, to know how this shift happened, we need to fall back to 2008. We're here to get an idea of what it was like back then and why people loved egg hunts so much. So in 2008 to 2020, egg hunts occurred every single year aside from 2009 and 2011 for whatever reasons. And what were these eggs in the hunts and why did so many people try to get them to the point where Roblox servers crashed? Well, these eggs are items that you got to wear once you earned them. This was special because every game in the hunt felt like they were more connected. Now, for for a second, let's be real. To most people, getting a fairly ugly avatar item for beating a challenge doesn't make any sense. Why was this event so special? Well, it's because the developers for these Roblox games respected the hunts and made creative and fun ways to get these eggs. Some of the fun was from waking up and finding out that your favorite game was in the hunt, logging on to collect as many eggs as you could, exploring and finding out different challenges, and it's not like these puzzles and challenges were easy. That is why everyone loved it so much. It's not about how much these eggs would sell for if they were limited, though that's a nice feature. It's about experiencing everything these devs who were on the top of the platform had to offer. Let's speed up to 2018. We're stopping here because some of the most iconic egg hunts happened from 2018 to 2020, when players didn't know these were the last hunts they'd ever experienced. Those egg hunts featured wide ranges of games. Those developers all came together to create challenges, puzzles, and actual egg hunts to find these eggs. These were also the egg hunts with the most memories for me. I remember looking for eggs across games and being led by NPCs, hints, and my own guesses to beat several challenges. I had tons of fun playing games that were made by genuine developers who had a passion for game development to get goofy eggs. But the following year was the end of Roblox's most iconic series of events, with no explanation. They wanted to replace the egg hunt with something called Live Ops. The Live Ops was supposed to be a spotlight for up-and-coming creators who had much smaller games than the ones that had been featured in the egg hunts. While this event idea was never actually used, this did reveal a clue about the end of egg hunts. But we can see that they trashed the idea with not only the death of Live Ops, but everything they've done leading up to the hunt. Of course, Roblox went dead about the topic until 2024. They had remixed this perfectly fine event into something more appealing to their investors. You see, back in 2021, Roblox went onto the stock market, and in turn, they now had more pressure to be successful, and most importantly, relevant. This is a very important clue to understand where egg hunts went. But why get rid of egg hunts for some rich bozos? Well, a tradition that had been happening for several years since 2008 looks very repetitive. To investor, it looks like Roblox isn't changing. And I don't have to explain why that looks bad. No change equals no relevance. But keep in mind that there are to be more excuses as to why Roblox would remove egg hunts than just investors. This leads me to my next point. Remember Arthro? I hope you don't because I barely do. They're avatar items that resemble real people, which has nothing to do with the origins of Roblox. Roblox is supposed to be a fun and colorful game, not whatever that is. And rightfully so, the community generally hated how Arthro looked. Players were used to the Lego characters that had now become an iconic memes, childhoods, and Roblox. Here is the second clue as to why egg hunts went. Legos are usually seen as kids toys, and with that, Roblox characters. Then with investors watching Roblox's every move, business-wise, it would seem like a good idea to get older players, teenagers. Why would that be beneficial? Well, teenagers have more money than kids, which means Roblox gets more money, which means investors get more money. That is why Roblox ignored every single complaint about Arthro and just kept pushing forward, featuring it in events, making it new avatar items, and even putting Arthro logos on games that supported those characters. And this all ties back to the egg hunt, something colorful and silly. For example, an event named The Great Yoke Tales would probably drive some teens off the platform, seeing this as childish. And we started to see that transition with the Metaverse Champions. Let me explain this weird event. There were four clowns known as the Metaverse Champions. Four weeks were hosted. Each week had a set of games that were chosen to be part of the event. Now, I'm not going to give you a detailed rundown. Overall, there just weren't great rewards, and it didn't make any sense. It was a weird replacement for eggs. The whole thing was a shit show. So Roblox decided to make it more future technology driven and superhero weird stuff. Something to also note, the Metaverse Champions started in 2021. 
That's when they went onto the stock market. So that can help explain the futuristic metaverse theme, but go to 2024. This new hunt event wasn't just a reskin of the old egg hunts. It's much more monetary focused, which has ruined hunts forever, which I will get into deeper. For now, let's find out why they chose a metaverse theme instead of a normal egg hunt. Well, it did say it's partly because of the childish appearance of old egg hunts, there's more to it. You see, this is where Meta, or Facebook, Welcome. comes Welcome into play. Earth. As we all know, Meta named themselves after the metaverse. In short, it's an idea of having an entire world just like our own inside of the internet, like Ready Player One. It's where everything revolves around games within this place, distracting everybody from the real world. Sports games would be hosted there, concerts would be hosted there, your life could happen there. So what does this have to do with investors of the hunt? Well, being the owner of the metaverse will be very sought after because whoever has the biggest metaverse will make the most money, and investors like money. So naturally, Roblox is in a very good position for the metaverse with their large array of games. And obviously calling an event the metaverse champions, then replacing it with some other metaverse themed event proves that they want to move towards that top spot connecting all of their games like a metaverse. And to be honest, the egg hunt was a perfect event to do that, but the egg part must have appeared to be too silly for teenagers in the eyes of Roblox. So if you directly connect an event to the word metaverse, investors will 100% know what that means because that's going to be the future of gaming. So Meta, Apple, and all of these big media companies are fighting to be the pioneers. It shows Roblox that they must do something if they want to be known for the metaverse. Now I can rant for hours of why this is a fairly bad idea, but in short, they'll be nickeling and diming you Gotta all the time. What do I mean by that? Well, in a metaverse, every opportunity they get, companies want and will try to take your money. Some things are, but not limited to, ads and lobbies, limited time merch, overpriced games, unholy number of DLCs, monthly subscriptions, avatar items, and overall random crap you do not need. It would be nearly impossible to play games without spending money, and guess what? The hunt is already showing signs of this. Just go to the lobby and you can buy an overpriced avatar item or a battle pass with 5 items for $10, but if you spend over $200 for the core blocks Deathwalker, you can get the pass for free. And hey, while you're buying Robux for the Core Blocks Deathwalker, you might want to get a gift card from Walmart for an extra egg, or get it straight from Roblox for an extra pair of gold headphones, only for a limited time. That's also not to mention the scummy gambling games that are corrupting the platform. Roblox gave them a spot in the hunt. And if you want to see more of that, I made a video on how it's ruining an entire generation. But to be honest, most of this would be fine if Roblox didn't take away the most important parts of the hunt. Rewards for every every single badge. You see, when someone completed challenges in a game, they used to get a badge that was linked to an egg. So if you completed 20 games, you would have 20 eggs. Now you only get two and they aren't even eggs. So developers who care have to compensate for Roblox's lack of effort to reward players. I was up at 3 a.m. collecting badges with my friend and we only got one new item. How do I get this over with quick? Okay, so. <laughs> What's the most genuine shit? I don't think you understand. <laughs> it is almost 5 a.m. for me. I'm on the verge of collapsing. So I appreciate TDS, Combat Warriors, and Strongest Battlegrounds, and any other game developers that made eggs for players to get. Thankfully, TDS made a skin and an egg for players to get. Otherwise, it would have just been a badge, which is so exciting. But there are plenty of games that didn't do that. They are just half-heartedly making boring challenges that just give badges. Only reason every game had eggs in the past is because Roblox made them for the devs. And now that that's gone, we're left with 12 items for 95 different games. Five items are free, six are locked behind a paywall, one of them you have to buy a gift card for, and meet a content creator for the last one. So let's pause for a second and recap. Money is most likely the reason for the egg hunts to stop. That being investors, more mature audiences, and pointless crap that is easier to add to a metaverse themed event. But what else could have stopped the egg hunts in 2020? Well, it's no secret COVID struck the world that year. And while that seems bad on the surface, and it could be a reason for the egg hunts to stop, at Roblox, it was a gold mine. Just imagine if your entire player base was stuck at home with nothing to do and would rather be on video games than focusing on school. Well, Roblox didn't need to imagine. 
this shit was real. And the year after Roblox's last egg hunt happened to be when Roblox entered the stock market. They managed to more than double their annual revenue from 2020 to 2021. So Roblox decided that they wanted in on the metaverse thing and they've been pushing since. Look, egg hunts used to be fun events that most players looked forward to. And like I said before, now it promotes games like Toilet Tower Defense, now. Pet Simulator 99, and All-Star Tower Defense, which include forms of gambling and ignores game devs that have been working hard on games to keep their players active. Now, I will admit, it's not all that bad. There are developers that make special game modes for this event, providing actual value instead of do five boring quests and never come back. I've played about half of the Hunt games, and I've found that Doors is my favorite. Keep in mind, I never play Doors. Before the Hunt, I played maybe seven rounds in total, but Doors did everything correct. For those who don't know, how does Doors work? Doors is in the horror genre, you run through doors and there are an assortment of monsters that are trying to kill you. Your goal is to get to the last door, pretty straightforward. So for the hunt they made a custom game mode when they could have made players go through 50 doors in the base game. And this mode was not just a copy and paste of the normal game, you see there was a timer to get from negative 50 to zero which was a new feature. Why is this so good? Well, there are levers placed all across the rooms, refilling the timer. There are some new monsters, and the levels look very different from the main game. Overall, the Doors event was challenging enough to the point where you couldn't just turn your brain off, but not so hard to the point where frustration and rage came in. It's a 10 out of 10, I would recommend. Now, I also did find the TDS event fun, and I do have a bias for this, I make videos on the game, but the easy mode just felt too easy to get the badge. And yes, there was a hard mode, which was hard until wave six. Then it was just brain dead if you had good DPS. But Doors and TDS did what the hunt is for. Most games have forgotten why they're there. This event is supposed to be a short puzzler challenge that gives you an idea of what the games are really about. So after the hunt, you may be interested in playing the games more. It's the same idea as Live Ops. It gives devs a spotlight and a chance for new players to find games they never would have before. And for the old players, it's a refreshing update. However, all of this has been forgotten. Most of these games require simple quests that don't involve any new features, but rather just make you grind an annoying challenge so the devs can just get playtime out of you with no reward. And this is why absolutely Roblox and some developers have ruined the hunt. You need to get five badges for one reward. In 2020, five badges would be five rewards. You see the issue? When I got 20 badges in the hunt, I was starting to get annoyed grinding crappy boring challenges that take an hour of playtime with low effort and pay to win game, to the point where the idea of doing another challenge was reproaching. I knew that 9 times out of 10 I would go into a new game and there'd be no creative challenge, cool puzzle, or fun interactive way to get the badge. It used to be worth it because you could collect custom eggs, but now you're just suffering to get 5 rewards. That's hours of your life. The eggs used to be worth it because part of the fun was seeing what the eggs looked like and oh, making avatars with them. But now you're just grinding out 95 games for what? A necklace, copy and paste wings, a tiny staff, a mid looking hood, and a crown. If you pay roughly $10, you can get all of those items in gold as well. Like bro, you can get items that look very similar on the marketplace in a few minutes for cheaper instead of spending hours of your life dying to shitty AI and grinding brain dead challenges. Look, at the start of this hunt, I was enjoying it a lot, but as I continued, the lack of rewards and effort just ruined it. I felt like I was hopping game to game, praying that the challenges would take at most 20 minutes, and then moving on. And you may not agree with me, and that's perfectly fine. I found myself stopping at 40 and not looking back. I appreciate all of the devs who put effort into their games, and even the ones who made UGC rewards. But the lack of eggs just isn't the same. There is no satisfaction of getting eggs for your efforts. You just get some bland crown. And you can agree that there were many games overlooked in the hunt that should have been added, not these garbage, scummy gambling games. And Roblox is starting to promote this trash more and more, which is destroying a platform that was meant for creativity. Not to mention Roblox is starving game devs who won't stoop lower than pawn scum to lure kids into gambling addictions when they're in elementary school. And I made a video covering why Roblox has forced TDS and many game developers to try and reap every single penny out of their player base because they aren't using gambling systems. And if you're still here, I thank you for watching. This was a big topic and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.